A big night tonight in the Meadowlands. The Giants and Jets battle it out in a preseason inaugural game to the new billion and a half billion dollar stadium. Billion and a half dollar stadium, I should say. The glitzy 82,000 seat venue, which will be home to the Super Bowl in 2014, still doesn't have a name, but it will be getting national attention tonight. Desiree Taylor is live at the Meadowlands with more. Des? Oh, yes, fans are gearing up for the big game tonight. They're tailgating, they're wearing their team jerseys, and they're talking a bit of trash. And they're also very excited to see this new stadium, which has hosted some concerts and other sporting events. But for football fans, nothing could be sweeter than tonight's game between the Jets and Giants. It's massive, modern, and made to accommodate both Jets and Giants fans. I think when people walk into this space, they walk in through those front gates, they hear the Jets fan, say, you know, doing J-E-T-S, and they see all the colors that we brought into the stadium, they're going to know it's a Jets home stadium. So I think that its ability to transform from gray to green and then for the Giants to blue is, is really one of its key characteristics and what's going to make it really spectacular for fans coming in to experience their home team. The $1.6 billion new Meadowland Stadium also has plenty of space and amenities. Everything is really bigger and better in the new stadium. Overall, the stadium is 2 million square feet. The old stadium was less than a million. So it's twice the square footage, but for about the same number of people. What that's allowed us to do is increase the restrooms, you know, cr you know, uh, three times the number of concession stands, you know, shorten the time that you have to wait to get something to eat, to go to the bathroom, and to get back to your seat to cheer on the Jets. So we uh, the concourses are, you know, at least twice as wide, and they have a lot more volume to them as well. So they're just, you know, they're taller, they're wider, they're more open. So the entire experience is going to be hopefully a lot better. 200 parking spaces have been added, which is welcome news to tailgaters. For most fans, tonight's preseason game between the Jets and Giants will be their first time seeing the new stadium. It looks absolutely beautiful. I've been coming to Giants games ever since a little kid. So, you know, I love the old stadium, but again, it was an old style stadium. So now it's up to date and there's more amenities for us as the fans to get to, you know, to love. I've been inside twice. I was here for the draft party and for the practice. Um, you know, the, it's beautiful, the, the stadium. It's really nice. Um, and actually, this morning I got to see when they flew over top, they had the jets in the end zone. So it, it's really sharp. It's really nice in there. So, yeah, this is, you know, it'll be good. I can't wait to see a game in there. But the real attraction is the game, and both teams have been working hard in training camp preparing for the big event. It's going to be great. One, just to, to see the fans, to play against a new team, to... Uh, to open up on Monday night, I mean, that's that's about as good as it gets. And we're the home team. That's nice. Uh, get used to the locker room again. You know, we got a chance to see it in, uh, in OTAs so, or minicamp. And uh, and now we get a chance to play there and get a real game-like atmosphere. You know, the scrimmage is one thing. We kind of took that next step, and we're ready we're ready for this one. We're ready for, for another game against, you know, a worthy opponent. Um, you know, city title on the line, that kind of thing. That's fun. Once again, the Jets are the home team tonight, but the Giants will play the first regular season game at home on September 12th. I'm Desiree Taylor reporting live in East Rutherford. Now back to you, Jim. All right, Des, thanks a lot. And we look forward to the big game.